renowned street artist Paparazzi prepares for his latest exhibition. It's the first time the Georgian-born and Cyprus-based artist has showcased in the Middle East. He's just one of the many European artists who are making their mark on the art scene here in Dubai. It was a good opportunity to show my work and uh, uh, you know, to do a great show here in Dubai. I love it. It's very big contrast. You know, after Cyprus and after Athens. What I'm doing now, it's like a, a new muralism, I would say, but uh, it, it still has uh, graffiti elements and I will never, never uh, stop doing stuff on the streets. When you do, like, on the streets, it has a strong voice. Once considered vandalistic, this style of work hangs in some of the world's top museums and galleries. But the art world is just one of the creative sectors having to rethink how they operate, as COVID-19 has left many galleries temporarily closed for business or operating by appointment only. Generally speaking, people don't want to leave the house, um, but they don't want to stop enjoying art. They want to be able to see that uh, new work is being created. I, I find it you know, extremely important personally to, to think that creativity is still alive, it's still going. This is Al Sakal Avenue in Al Khoz, Dubai's artistic quarter. British art duo the Connor Brothers were due to be hosting their very first exhibition in the Middle East here right now. Rather than postpone, they decided to move it online, a first for them. So we've shown all over the world, really, apart from the Middle East, you find that there's a different kind of engagement with each um, sort of place you go according to their culture and everyone views our works really differently wherever we go so it's always quite exciting to see it's like seeing it through fresh eyes mm. um through the audience response so um we were really excited to show and i mean we're we're, we're a bit sort of uh, upset we can't be there hopefully this situation is another negative but temporary chapter which will hopefully bring something positive and creative out of it but can digital exhibitions compare with physically visiting a gallery? I think it's the same in, in art as it would be in music. You want to be in the room when the show is happening, and, and that's equally true here. But if you can't be, you have to settle for something else. And, and what's happening here is we're using technology, we're bringing uh, pieces online, not to lose the feeling, which will be back. You know, this is just a temporary situation. While the art world is optimistic for a return to normality, it's business behind the temporarily closed doors and online.